it's request time. We're going back to basics this week, people. I received an email the other day from a viewer requesting a recipe for meatballs. She explained that every time she tried to make meatballs, they would fall apart and turn into mush, and she couldn't quite figure out exactly what was going wrong. Well, help is at hand. Today, I'm gonna to show you my simple, easy, throw together meatball recipe that anyone can do. It's Easy Meatballs on The One Pie Chef. Meatballs, they're fairly simple to put together. In our bowl, we have one and a half kilos of beef mince. That's ground beef to you Americans. Now you might think that's quite a big batch. It is, I'm doing a big batch for a reason. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these up. I'm gonna cook half and I'm gonna freeze the rest. That way I've got meatballs ready for another day when I can't be bothered cooking. So one and a half kilos of beef. You can also use any other meat you like. You could use lamb, you could use chicken, you could use pork, whatever you fancy. I'm also adding a quarter of a cup of onions. Now, these are not real onions. I'm cheating because I don't feel like chopping onions today. So these are actually rehydrated onion flakes, which I'll just add a little bit of water to, to make them, well, rehydrated. I'm also gonna be adding some mixed dried herbs, anything you fancy. Probably about a tablespoon at most. We're also going to be adding two cups of soft breadcrumbs. And by soft breadcrumbs, I mean I've taken a few slices of bread, four actually, four slices of bread, and I've run them through the food processor. Don't use the dry breadcrumbs that you get in packets at the supermarket because it won't bind together properly. And last but not least, four eggs that have been lightly beaten. Let's pour it in. Now here comes the messy bit. Now I have washed my hands. Basically all you need to do is to start mixing it all together or just squishing it all together. If you've got kids that you're looking to get into the kitchen, this is a great recipe to get them in to do it. Because kids love to get messy, they love to mix things up. And it's really good to get kids involved in the cooking because especially if you've got fussy eaters, because fussy eaters are usually a lot less fussy if they've actually had something to do with the cooking of the food. So just mix that all together until it's completely combined. Now our mixture is combined, all we need to do is start making our meatballs. Now we're going to start by taking small amounts of the mixture. You want to be taking probably about a tablespoon's worth of mixture and just rolling it together in your hands until it's completely combined and made into a nice meatball. There we go. See, just like that, so it's a nice decent sized meatball. Pop it on a plate and keep going. Once you've made all of your meatballs and got them on the plate, you need to pop them into the fridge for about 15 minutes until they're nice and firm. During this time, the egg and the breadcrumbs will help bring the meatballs together so they are nice and firm and they won't come to pieces when you try to cook them. So just start putting your meatballs together and we'll be back in a moment. So now we're ready to start frying up our meatballs. We're gonna do this in batches because if you try to do them all at once, it's gonna take forever. So we'll do maybe four at a time. So we'll just drop them into our heated fry pan. I'm using my electric fry pan today. Much more room in it. Basically what we're going to do is start cooking these for about five to six minutes, turning them occasionally until they're nice and brown all on the outside. And then we'll be transferring them to a baking dish. Right, as you can see our meatballs are nice and cooked now. Absolutely delicious. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into a meatball bake. Basically what I've done is I've heated up a large jar of my favorite pasta sauce, just plain old spaghetti sauce type stuff, a 700 ml jar. And I've just brought it to the boil on the stove and now I'm just going to ladle it over the meatballs. 
until they're all nice and covered. Yum, yum, yum. And just to top it off, I'm going to top this with some grated cheese. Yum. I'm just using grated tasty cheese, but if you want to use mozzarella or pizza cheese or whatever you fancy, whatever you got in, it's all good. There we go. That looks very nice. Now, all we need to do now is pop it into the oven at 220 degrees for about 15-20 minutes, just enough time to allow the cheese to melt and go golden and bubbly. And then it's ready to serve. Hot bubbling melted cheese, delicious tomato sauce and absolutely fantastic meatballs underneath. This is fresh out of the oven, ready to serve. You could serve this as is. You could also serve it with pasta, rice, potatoes, steamed vegetables, pretty much anything you could think of. This is a very versatile dish. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at youtube.com slash onepotchefshow. Drop me a line at onepotchef at hotmail.com. And don't forget to check out and subscribe my new channel, my non-cooking channel at youtube.com slash onepotchefblog. Until next time, see you later.